And welcome back to... And um, welcome back. And welcome and back. And welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> what episode is this? Episode... Should be 11, I think. I really have no clue. <laughs> this is a new session, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding, we've been here the whole time. Just kidding, you... Yep. Because I'm going to have, like, crap in between the episodes. Uh, oh. Nice sword. Give it to me. Hey, oh, yeah, that's the water sword. Am I right? Walker yeah. talking shit. Whoa. This oh. To me? Yeah. I'm just... It was, it, it was his brother's sword. It probably... <laughs> 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 so this is episode 10. I actually knew the number, and you're an idiot for saying 11. Oh, Hopefully... I had to fix some settings by myself being a freaking pro. Now, today, she uses as a Wait, what? I forgot. I got lost. I lost train of thought. I lose it often. Better hop back on the subway. Catch that train. <laughs> no thought. Ah, oh, Yuna. Stereotypical woman. Too many shits. Is she like British? Yes. In this make and leave. What? <laughs> 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 oh man, I hate that. In this make believe land. <laughs> make boy leave. Oh no. Was that for real? Make land leave. Yes, that was for real. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I just saw a treasure chest. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You always say that. Every chest. It's habit. I was talking about. Oh yeah, I had to go back and get this treasure chest. <laughs> I thought you already opened it because like, I remember there's a chest here. You know what? Nope, this bitch got it, dude. <laughs> Terrible opening the chest still. So I had to fix the settings on the thing. Hopefully it's HD. Hopefully it covers the entire screen and not that stupid letterbox. Hopefully we have enough room to put the pink background on it. Yes, I do hope that. Do you truly hope? Do you like how it's a pink background? I do. I do. Do you, do you really, though? I do, though. I think it brings awareness to the fact that there is a background. Fuck. Is that good? Bringing awareness to the fact that there's a background? Shut up. I'm just making shit up. Oh, yeah. He uses a volleyball. These are the... No, it's a blitz ball. Those are the kind of enemies that Tidus or Squiggly, is good against. Okay. And Waka is good against the flying enemies. Oh, that's actually that's actually a little cool. Every party member <clears throat> is good against a different type of enemy. See? Bah! What's his uh bar thing? It's uh you play like slots to get different elements. So So is luck. It's more or less. You can I guess it for the most part it's luck. But I guess there is some element of skill involved. Let's see in it. I don't know, but we'll see. Do you like random encounters? Oh no, I hate it. This is where Lulu comes in. Watch. This. Watch. <laughs> Doom forty-six. Times. No, that's not my enemy. I told you. Magic? Why didn't Waka just use a sword? That is a very good question. Because they wanted diversity, okay? Ice is weak against fire. Oh, I got you, okay. Uh, it's telling you that fire is good against so ice. Fire and ice are opposite. So ice would be good against fire? Or ice would be. I think, is fire good against ice and ice? No. Shit. Wait, is fire that good? Doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Fire would be good against. Water's good against fire. Oh. Fire is good against ice, ice against lightning, and lightning against water. Did we just figure out common RPG knowledge? No, this didn't make any sense to me. He just used water on himself. Okay, so I have to use thunder. I see. Dude. I mean, I don't know how you're getting this knowledge. What is that thing on her arm? Um, oh. oh damn, what is it called? Um, Mog? Moggle? Oh. Equip. Moogle. Moggle? Moggle? I was pretty damn close. Now here comes Kamari, my favorite. Oh, the wolf dude. Hey, remember that question I asked you on the very first Whoa, episode? Whoa, he is a lion. 
Get your shit together, Garen. He turns into animals, though, so he could be a lion. No, he does not. He is a ronzo. Take your time. Take I am your so time. attracted to these two women. Why would you be? You have no idea. <laughs> at all. How attracted these when two women are. When I was six women. years old, I would look at their eyes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Remember that question I asked in the first episode and you never answered it? Yes, and here is my answer. Wait, what was the question? What? Sometimes, when I take my showers, I only wash my hair. Travin told me that it's, it's best to put soap on the floor of the bathtub mm -hmm. and just slide in it to get clean. It's better than actually having the soap on yourself. Um, so I would put soap on the ground and just slide and roll back and forth. <laughs> I would, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. It, it's, it, he lied to me. Obviously. I used to, like, put soap at the bottom of my feet, <laughs> and then I would, was that a fake laugh, you bitch? That <laughs> was like a tiny chuckle, because I, <laughs> I can imagine that you're an idiot. No, I wasn't, because I was an idiot. I did it because I wanted, I wanted to. to slide. <laughs> Where are your notes? You're not taking notes. Women tips... Number two. All right, you ready for this? Yeah, I'm prepared. So the first one was uh, to look them in the eye, okay? Yeah. Tip number two, you ready? Wait, does it matter which eye? If they have a glass eye, it's the opposite one. If they have both human eyes, does not matter. Two glass eyes. If they're right-handed, you might want to look with their right eye because sometimes their eyes are a little off depending mm -hmm. on which hand you write with. And the, and the foot you kick with, it's a little that eye is a little faster. So what if your eyes are closed? Well, then you slap that woman, Kilika, and begin the ruin as one. Wait, ruin? That'd be a U. So that means the, the U, U for the, the U. The U for the U. Wait, that makes no sense. It ain't so, ruin. Coin. Shh, whatever. Dude, what are we idiots? Basically. Uh oh. Ah! I Whoa, love they... this cutscene. Were, were these rendered on the original version of it, not in HD? What the fuck does rendered mean? Rend like, you can tell this isn't how the gameplay is. This is rendered. Oh, oh sorry, pre is it pre rendered? No, this is rendered. Well, then, yes, this was pre rendered. This was. It was rendered it was in the original rendered, version? Yes. So it, it still was, was a cutscene. Yes, it was a cutscene. All right, let's try this sword play spiral cut one more time. Oh yeah, we switched his controller. Wait, this oh is no, it was orange. God damn it! Here's only one I could nail. Oh, that's that's um uh, Kayuko. Yes, Kayuko. Oh, is, is that really his name? Yeah. Are you Kay serious? Yes. Whoa. Kayuko <laughs> is one of uh, Yuna's bodyguards or guardians. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. But he uses the lance. Um, and he has an ability that he can copy some monsters as and use their overdrives. Yes. Oh, we use their overdrives? Yes. So the overdrive can change? Yeah, he's got like eight overdrives. So Kiyuko's pretty badass. This guy's just watching you, getting no. your wee-wee handed to you. I don't know why he did that. What's with that guy? I don't like him. Wait, who's she? I, never, I didn't even know she was here. Lulu. Oh, I know that, but what's her purpose? She's a black mage. She's one of Yuna's guardians. Okay, that's what and, I was looking for. Oh, these are they're all Yuna's guardians. What's so important about Yuna? She's the summoner in this world. Here's some here's some here's some here's some here's some, here's some flavor text for you. Uh huh. <clears throat> um, here's some flavor text for you. Oh, uh, tell me. You ready for this flavor? Grab some salt. Ooh! Oh, I can't get it. What? I guess I'll have to come back. Did you purposely say ooh for that? No, I get excited. Anyways. For, for a hyper potion? Oh, a high potion. Ooh. So, okay. There's this monstrous creature named Sin, okay? Yes. That is aptly called because, holy shit. Because, excuse me. Where is your um sheet to keep us on track? I want you to finish your story because you've been saying um and other things for like a minute now. Well, it's gonna take me forever. You ready? Yeah. 
Ready for this flavor text? You ready for this flavor text? Please talk. Get some salt. Please talk. Get some oregano. And here's some um, flavor. Sin is this monstrous creature which is aptly named aptly Bonapats. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> I've never <laughs> named the Aeons, so that's always been valid. Oh, I totally forgot we named it that. I was like, what the fuck? Stepanob is it backwards. So, okay. What was that? Go, Bonapats. Stepanob. Stepanob. Oh, Bonapats. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that's what it's called. That's awesome. Stephen Bonapats. Okay. So, Sin is this monstrous being, which aptly is aptly named. Na <laughs> which is aptly named because... They say in the world here, it's created by your sins, right? Yes. And so, it comes every, I can't remember, every hundred years or something? No, it's not a hundred years. Every 50, 20 years? I'm not sure. Her father, Yuna's father, was the summoner before Yuna. Mm -hmm. that, that spared all of Spira. Spared all of Spira. Is that, this, is that the entire Spira planet? Spira is this... World, continent? I believe. Continent or world. I'm not really sure if okay. I have maps. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, aquatic navigation systems. Like brains. Wow, that was offensive. <clears throat> Anyways. So, the summoner's job is you have to go and pray at each of the temples, right? Mm -hmm. And acquire the Aeon that is like the guardian of the temple or whatever. So the Besaid temple, you get Bonapats. Okay? Then that's, you know, where all the Aeons come in. So, once you've prayed at all the temples, then you go face Sin head on, okay? And then the summoner summons the final Aeon, whatever that means. Yeah. And the final Aeon destroys Sin for however long. Let's see if you can nail this one. Wait. Nailed it. No, don't do it. Boner parrots. Dude. Damn. Dude, he was probably had like a hundred health left. Damn. Wait, do you have to use an overdrive whenever you have it full? No, it'll stay. Um. Okay, so you don't have to use it. All right. Correct. Because whenever I go into boss battles, I will load up all of my Aeon's overdrives. Yeah. Just go, go ham. Yeah, because some of the bosses in this game you have to. It is absolutely ridiculous. Please no. All right. So next, I'm blue cannon. We're gonna find another one of those. Next time on Blue Cannon, I'm gonna cook this guy. <laughs>